I want to take a moment to talk about what a lot of people forget to mention to those of us who are going to embark on those first few days of postpartum where we have a core that is not very strong. We might have trauma to our pelvic floor. We might have trauma to our abdominal wall. So whether we've had a belly birth or a vaginal birth, there can just be a lot of trauma to it. Even if you didn't have stitches of either region and didn't have like an actual tear happen or surgery happen, it can still be really important to know how to stabilize the core for things like laughing, coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose. Those things require a lot of core pressure and stabilization that you don't realize until your core is in a weakened state post birth. So I'd say that for a vaginal birth, this is really more helpful in the first week for a belly birth. It can be helpful for really the first month or so. And it really just depends on everyone's state of healing. So you think that when you laugh, cough, sneeze, we need to maintain that pressure and blow your nose pressure up and in. Well, it's really hard to maintain that pressure up and in when you are having a core that is really weak. It's lengthened, the pelvic floor is lengthened, or there's surgery. It's just hard to maintain that pressure. So when you are uh, in those initial days postpartum, what you can do is if you're standing, you can cross your legs, lean over so that the pressure isn't going down, <coughs> cough, or blow your nose. Or you can grab your hand, put it on your perineum, hold it, support it, cross your legs, cough, cough, blow your nose. Or if you're laying down and someone says something funny, you can hold your perineum. You can like, hold your abdominal wall and <coughs> or ha <coughs> ha or blow your nose. So essentially you're taking gravity away. So laying on your back, you take gravity away. Leaning over, you take the pressure away from being straight on that pelvic floor. And that can be helpful for all those pressure things like coughing, laughing, sneezing, blowing your nose is the support the perineum. If you don't want to support the perineum, cross your legs, lay down or lean over. And those are going to be ways that you can help um, also supporting your abdominal wall. Now, if you've had a belly birth, you probably don't need to do the perineum support. You would more so hold your belly and same thing of hold your belly, lay on your back, cough, laugh, sneeze, blow your nose if you need to, or if you happen to be standing, hold your lower belly, lean over so you don't have that pressure, and then cough, laugh, sneeze. And you might find that your laugh is more like, <laughs> or that your cough isn't, <clears throat> it's more of like a, <clears throat> and that's okay. So those are just a few ways to help manage that discomfort you can have in your belly or pelvic floor when you have those big pressure things that just happen, laughing, coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose or things that happen. And we don't talk about it very often is how to manage that um, when you're postpartum. And again, it's just the first, you know, for vaginal birth week, belly birth up to a month, but it's something that can be really helpful to know how to navigate that and not have it be a big surprise.